everybody how are you all doing today welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you the video of my coconut rice i have this already in my collection but i just want to show you the newest version so if you're ready to see how i do this please come into this kitchen and let's make it happen come on guys let's go okay ladies and gentlemen i'm going to show you how i cook my coconut rice guys i must warn you if you're making coconut rice in the diaspora you need a lot of coconuts because the coconuts they bring here are not the same coconuts that we have back home you know the ones back home taste very sweet and nice but the ones here don't really have that home taste so you have to add something to your coconut you might want to use coconut milk from the store but i prefer to use coconut flakes i will show you the picture of it so crack open your coconut save the water because you need that water don't throw away the coconut water save it in a container and then you cut your coconuts and you know cut them into tiny bits now you're going to pour them in the blender with the coconut water that you saved and the coconut flakes this is the type i use this always come right come out right whenever i do it and then you blend with hot water you don't need to blend with cold water hot water will help you to get out all the milk from the you know the coconut so you pour your hot water or your warm water it depends on what you can handle and then you try and squeeze out all the milk you know squeeze everything out put it in a container and just let it be let it leave it aside now with the rice what i do is i wash my rice before i don't pop boil my coconut rice i wash it straight and you just wash it raw and you keep washing until the water is clear because when you start washing you notice that the water is so milky you know that's that shows that there's still a lot of uh, starch in the rice so wash off the starch as much as, as much as you can and then you start cooking don't worry about losing the nutrients because people tell you when you wash it like that you're going to lose all the nutrients that's a lie because you're still going to cook that food with other ingredients so you get the nutrients back so you wash your rice and uh, you pour everything in a strainer just like as i have here you put this in a strainer because you want to drain off all the excess water you don't need water you don't need the rice to be too watery by the time you're cooking it so put it in the strainer put it aside now put a small amount of coconut oil you know the co cooking coconut oil from the stove just put a little bit you don't need too much because the coconut milk itself has oil so you don't want too much oil in the, in the rice so just put a little bit of coconut oil so that you can fry your you know vegetables so the first thing i put there is my onions then i'm going to add my bell peppers i have the yellow the red and the orange color here so you, you you mix it in and let it fry for a few seconds you don't want it to be too cooked so don't, don't over fry it once you fry it for a few seconds now you're going to add your habanero pepper or any hot pepper here i have habanero, habanero pepper i just added it and after this you let it fry again for a few seconds and then you pour in your seasoning what i have in that container is the salt the maggi cube the no cube uh, the curry powder the thyme you know everything is in there i add everything mix it up and now i'm going to pour my coconut water or coconut milk so you mix it up and um, at this point you check and make sure that it's tasty enough for you if you notice that you need more uh, seasoning you can add it at this point and just let it cook for a few minutes and then you add your rice you see how dry the rice is it's because i left it in the strainer for about 20 minutes so you put in your rice you mix it thoroughly you know mix it thoroughly coconut rice doesn't really take much time it takes like maybe from the time you start to the time you end maybe 30 35 minutes it doesn't really take time so you add everything in and here i'm going to just cover the pot and let it cook So after about five, this was about 10 minutes, I am checking on the rice and as you can see, there's still water inside the rice. The rice is getting cooked, but there's still water. So I'm going to let it cook for some time. After about 10 minutes more, the water is almost dried up, but I needed to add more coconut milk. So you add some if you need it. If you don't need it, that's fine. So I added some more, more coconut milk and I'm going to um, just cover this and let it cook cook for another few minutes you know just for the coconut oil uh the coconuts to dry a little bit so once that is done you are going to add the last ingredients for me that's the last ingredient i add my ground crayfish 
and then just put it i don't like adding it from the beginning i just want to add it at the end and then mix everything thoroughly and then at this point the rice is cooked already all you do is just mix everything turn the stove off and cover the the pot just for it to finish cooking with the steam inside the pot and then you serve your food that's how coconut rice is made guys you can imagine i mean just imagine the aroma in my kitchen at this time this is how coconut rice is made it's very simple very easy and it doesn't take much time thank you so much for watching me today guys i truly appreciate you all until next time it's bye bye bon appetit ciao ciao and see you later